This True Temper Kelly Works is actually going to be the one I'm going to start with. So I did a little research. I looked around, and I believe this is the profile that these axes came with. It doesn't look like it's been ground. It's got some original patina all the way you know, through here. It's got some rust pitting and things like that. Even on this side, it doesn't look like it's been reground. So that, that just must be the way that it is. It's an interesting look. I mean, if I've learned anything about axes, is that there's not one profile or one uh, shape of an axe head that, that makes anything special. They, they, they all are going to do their job one way or another. Some are better for certain specialty types of, of chopping, but, but this one's going to be just as good for felling a tree, you know, as the next one. So I'm going to clean this thing up, pull the handle out, clean this edge up. I'm just going to hit it with some sandpaper. You know, clean it up here. Put a new handle on it. Reshape this a little bit. It's a little beat up. Reshape that and then uh, we'll go from there. So, looks like there's some more marking here. It says Del Mar. I'll have to look that up and see what it is. So you can see, <clears throat> those of you that are having a fit over there that I'm grinding the crap out of this thing, I'm just hitting it with a simple 80 grit flap disc. It doesn't take a lot of material off. It doesn't get hot. I can touch it immediately after I'm doing something with it. Um, so it's still got the, the, the darkened color here. These spots right here, you see that? That's not mine. So I'm just knocking off the major rust. I'm going to come back in. Maybe I'll make it shiny. Maybe I'll hit it with some sandpaper. Bring it back up to some higher grit. I did get on it kind of heavy here because I'm trying to reshape this. But as far as out here goes, I'm just I'm just hitting it, just knocking off the, the big heavy rust. Alright, we're gonna continue. So I did a review on this vice the other day. I couldn't really figure out what I could use a swivel for but it's for filming now I can tilt that baby down you can see exactly what I'm doing that's it though I haven't found any other reason for it oh and it seems like that right in there it's built perfect for a handle that you don't care about 
So I'm just going through right now. This is some 220 grit. Uh, just going to see if I can clean this up a little bit. So, as I really start to take a look at this thing, I actually begin to like it even more. So normally when you get an axe, it's got some age to it. This gets all beat to hell. Right, because everybody just wants to pound the axe head back on the handle. Same thing, I mean, this really wasn't too bad. I got it. I think I cleaned up to a point where I'm happy with it. I like the age. I like the patina. If you want to call it patina. Some people call it laziness. It is what it is. I'm going to use this thing. So I'm going to pop this handle off. See if I can get that wedge out. Nice and rusty. Tetanus waiting to happen. So I'm going to pop that wedge out. And I'll hang it on a new handle. It's actually pretty sharp just from that sander. It's got some nicks and chips and, and things like that in it. But it'll it'll work itself out as I start to use it and sharpen it.
the next row question comes in. <clears throat> and what kind of handle I want to put in it? So I've got this one here. It's a nice smooth handle. Nice big palm swell. Grain straight. Right? Or I have this one. It's always nice to have a good handle that you can grip. This one's nice and thin. It'll probably have some flex to it. Nice straight grain. I think I'm going to go with this one. It fit the first try. All right, so I'm going to try to get this thing on here without taking anything off. It's nice and tight. Handy dandy rubber mallet. So the trick here is basically just to Hang the head, right? That's why they call it hanging an axe head. So you hang it on the handle, and then you hit the top of the handle or the bottom of the handle right here when you're holding it, and the inertia drives that head onto the handle, makes it climb it. So it's actually pretty interesting. A lot of people want to turn it upside down and slam the slam the handle onto the ground, and then and then they wonder what's going on whenever they're you know, handle starts to break. See that? It's making its way. So, it's actually a really tight fit. Could have shaved it down. I'm almost where I want to be. I want to get this about right there. So, right now I'm flush. So I figure a few more hits with the, the mallet, and then that'll move that on into, into its place.
So there it is. All cleaned up. Hung. Doesn't lean to the left anymore. It's ready to use. Throw a little boiled linseed on here. Let it dry. It'll be time to use it before the weekend's over. So, all right. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. I don't know. Leave a comment. Give me some feedback. Would you do anything differently? Would you... The big question is, would you finish this up? Would, would you make it all nice and shiny and pretty? I'm never going to hang it up on a wall. It's always going to be used. Did I ruin some $400 axe that I didn't know about? I don't know. Alright guys, thanks for watching.